It's Wednesday. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are. It's a wonderful hump day, and we got a wonderful workout for you. Uh, here, we got a warm up here, two rounds. So, 30 seconds of a cardio movement. Any of the suggestions we got up here, or make up your own at home, that's a okay. Uh, 10 lunges and 10 alternating seesaw, dumbbell bent over row. That's a full, full sentence right there, okay? All that means is that you're going to be facing the ground and you're going to move one arm at a time. So if I was, I would go, this is a seesaw movement, okay? So back and forth alternating. One arm is holding close to the chest while the other one's extending, and then you're alternating that, okay? Um, if you have a backpack, uh, if you don't have two dumbbells, uh, so you only have one implement, you are just gonna do a regular row, okay? Uh, one dumbbell is return to the chest while the other is return to starting position. That is our seesaw. Okay, let's uh, see what we got for our warm up today. Well, our workout, sorry. Let's see what we have for our workout today. And here is our workout today. Now, this is a little confusing to look at. It has two sets of numbers up here. Uh, we have our 18 minutes AMRAP and we have a 1296 rep scheme. So what that means is you're going to do 12 of each movement, nine of each movement, six of each movement, and if the time hasn't allotted yet, you're going back to the beginning, back to 12, 9, and 6. So first round will be 12, 12, and 12, 9, 9, 9, 6, 6, 6. If time hasn't run out by then, go back to 12, okay? So air squats, alternating backpack lunges, and you can add weight to this if you want. And then bent over rows, okay? So if you have dumbbells, uh, kettlebells, or barbells, please use those for the rows or in the lunges if you're going to add weight. Okay, so this is a, a nice little cycle of a high volume to low volume pyramid scheme or inverted pyramid scheme, and you're going to go 1296, 1296, 1296 until time runs out, 18 minutes. Okay, there uh, is no finisher today. Uh, this should be enough work for most people, but if you'd like a little cool down, go into our yoga flow down dog, up dog, and child's pose, and rotate through that for about two to three minutes, uh, and focus on your breathing. Now, some things to watch out for here is the, these two have a lot of knee movements here, so your knees are going to take a little bit of a beating here, especially if you're adding some weight. So make sure that your heels are glued to the ground here on your pressing movement, especially on these lunges, you're not coming up on your toes and pressing into your toes and calves, um, which transfers even more um, tension into the knees, okay? So use those heels, use those glutes, use those hamstrings to get up. Make sure that you're also on the lunges, not facing the ground, that you're nice and vertical, your torso is looking straight forward, okay? Have a wonderful day and we will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.